Warning, the description of the side effects of these drugs come from actual drug labels, but any resemblance to actual drugs are coincidental and the names have been changed to protect their imaginary manufacturers' obscene profits. Do you have hemorrhoid neuritis, or how about ankylosing dinositis, or other auto-inflammatory diseases? Well, you're in luck. Try the new synthechemotoxamine. It's a new drug for the treatment of these chronic, nagging, and usually painful conditions. It is not approved by the FDA, but why not try it anyway? With its convenient once-a-day dosage, you can be assured that you will pay an exorbitant amount to its manufacturer on a daily basis. But don't worry, your insurance company pays most of it, and you won't see the cost until your insurance rates go up next year. Warning. Common side effects include headache, stomachache, nausea, vomiting, weakness, and cough. Bruising, bleeding, fatigue, depression, and heart failure have been reported. Taking synthechemotoxamine can cause an increased risk of serious infections that may result in illness, debilitation, hospitalization, and death. Infections from fungus, pneumocystosis, coccidioidomycosis, candidiasis, blastomycosis have been reported. In addition, increased risk of bacterial and viral infections may occur. Demyelinating diseases may also occur or be exacerbated that can cause progressive weakness and paralysis. Lymphoma, malignant, melanoma, and other cancers have been reported, including those resulting in death. Hmm. Why not just change your diet, do some detox, take some natural supplements, use energy medicine, and follow a full-spectrum natural approach to mitigate these problems before trying medication? Think about it.